Hello friends, today I'm going to tell about how to generate sequence numbers without using sequence generator in Informatica. Okay, let's start. First of all, I took one table uh, with the name contacts. Okay. In contacts, uh, I have these fields. Okay. I want to generate sequence numbers without using sequence transformation. Okay. In my source, I imported a, one table from the database. Okay. In target. Uh, in target, I copied same this contact table here. Okay. These are my source sources and I dragged this here from my source and I renamed it as sequence numbers for understanding purpose. Okay. Next. Here uh, after uh, rename this uh, table then we need to generate and execute. Okay, if the table is existed, if the table structure is existed in your target schema, there is no need to generate and execute. If there is no table existed in your target schema, just uh, you need to go, go for generate and execute. Okay, already in my target schema, I already did this process. I generated and executed. I will do for I will do for you again. Okay. This is my target schema. This is my target schema. And connect to target schema. Generate and execute. Okay. The table is generated in target schema. Okay. Next, close this one. Go to mapping. In mapping designer, you just uh, drag the source and targets here in this. Uh, I take uh, one uh, exp uh, expression transformation and uh, in this ex in this expression transformation i create one port what is that variable port and uh, that variable port i taken as a data type uh, my data type is double okay in that um, i have written this expression like v underscore v underscore port plus one this will increment okay this will uh, generate the sequence numbers okay uh, suppose uh, v port have the value is one uh, the one is added to another one so the value is two after that again the two is replaced in v port and plus one means three. So that's uh, like that it will increment it. Okay. Validate. We can open. Okay. The V port, uh, I put it as a variable port. Uh, next. O port means output port. Okay. I will assign this uh, V port to output port. Okay. Uh, this output port make it as a output port okay make it as output port then click on okay okay send everything uh, before that uh, going to target design go to target designer uh, uh, when you uh, when you create target target table in target designer you need to add one extra port for sequence numbers okay 
in this uh, actually my source table is having only these uh, fields okay in my target i took uh, i create a, another new port with the name s yes number okay this is for my sequence numbers okay just uh, you take this uh, port and click on okay and generate and execute in target okay just to save this one okay i already generated and executed so okay in target send okay uh, in expression i have these ports right then click on okay the incremental port to, we have to take in expression okay without uh, taking the sequence generator we have to take in uh, variable port plus one this is this will increment it this will use it to increment the value okay now click on okay uh, send everything from the expression transformation to sequence generator sorry uh, target okay i put uh, my target name is uh, sequence numbers so that's why i mistake okay this is my target send everything from the expression transformation to sequence sorry target okay this is my target name sequence numbers okay send everything from the expression transformation to target now after saving this uh, we need to generate workflow i already generated so go to my workflow this is my workflow name okay uh, in this uh, session we have to give the source and target connections okay uh, give the target option enable here and then click on ok here target load type is normal click on ok then save this workflow okay then right click and start workflow succeeded open uh, get run properties okay uh, in my source i have 319 because those all records are loaded to my target okay now uh, check uh, my sql transformation sql server okay for that I need to open SQL Server. Just uh, I'm minimizing this. These are all windows. Okay, open SQL Server. Now, I will check in my target. What is the table name? Okay, this is my target, right? You can select start from sequence. Let's see. Sequence numbers. Okay, 
This is my sequence numbers table. Look here. Uh, we connected S number, right? The sequence numbers are generated. Without sequence generator, we generate sequence numbers. For all uh, 319 records, 319 numbers are generated. Okay. This is the output. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching.